In this episode, Rourke, Giudiamo, Wetland Shaft, Cannoli weighing 300 kilos, Mamma Liturki, and many fountains. Twenty five hundred years of couplings between different people. You are in Sicily. The first Sicilians lived in caves, ate shellfish and berries, danced to make it rain and say Urgurk. Then came the Phoenicians and the Greeks, and then the Urg learned. And then again Romans, Arabs, Normans, Swabians, and so on. Sicilian is a mixture of Greek, Arabic and Latin. It is blonde, dark, tall, short, as indolent as it is hospitable, as sleepy as it is energetic. This is what also happened in this land that had more invaders, queens, and princes than fish in the sea, that towards the end of the 1400s, a colony of Albanians settled here and there in Sicily. They escaped the Turkish invasion of their country. Today, they have become Sicilian Albanian, but they still speak ancient Albanian and do other strange things. And we went to visit them in their most important den, Piana degli Albanesi, Western Sicily, near the capital Palermo. Piana degli Albanesi is embraced by a lake and surrounded by rugged mountains, which immortalizes this place as if it were one of those wonderful Weltland shaft or world landscapes of 16th century painting. It seems that Peter Brigel painted his escape into Egypt here in 1563. Or that Rubens imagined Piana degli Albanesi in the strongly Sicilian landscape. And then I closed my eyes and entered the Arabish canvas by Giorgio Scandenberg, the hero of the Albanians of Sicily. Here I am in Piazza Grande. The birds sing, probably in Albanian. Here is one of the many fountains that characterizes this town. This is the one with the three mouths dating back to the 1600s. Let's take a walk. Something smells good. It comes out from that door. Let's go check. The lady between the Albanian and the Sicilian explains to us that she makes this bread in the wood oven. Incredible but true, in this Sicilian town, we need a translator with us, because otherwise, with some elderly people, we will risk not understanding anything. She explains how she prepares it, and then she gives me one. I understood this. Ma'am, do you feel more Sicilian or Albanian? Arberish? I'm from Piana. Here's another fountain, on the left for the animals and on the right for the Sicilian Albanians. Our canvas takes shape more and more. This must have been the landscape before the birth of Piana. And that is the spirit of Giorgio Skanderberg as he sets out to found his new town. Let's take the staircase. On the wall is written in Italian, Giù, I love you. Giù can be either for a man Giuseppe or for a woman Giuseppina. So, or maybe, a picciotto from Palermo came here and made a beautiful Albanian picciotta and wrote to her about his love in Italian, or vice versa. We do not put this in the canvas, too modern. A Sicilian Albanian butterfly passes in front of my eyes. Buongiorno, signora. Come si sta a Piana? Benissimo, grazie. Lei è albanese? Sì. 
Are you Sicilian Albanian? Yes, we are very concerned to preserve the traditions of our ancestors. We are in the historic center. We entered the stone alleys and low Sicilian houses. Another fountain inside this Arabian tunnel. Let's go back to the piazza, a vegetable and egg vendor. How do you say eggs in Albanian? Another fountain with children. Listen, little boy, how do you say fountain in Albanian? Music in the piazza, gypsy dances in the small enclave with an oriental flavor that is Piana degli Albanesi. We slip back into the alleys. The beauty of Piana lies precisely in these walks in its historic center. A real time machine. And I'm a beautiful Sicilian Albanian from the 1400s who wanders among the houses of the town by candlelight. So many brooms out there. Good morning, ma'am. Will you let me in into a Sicilian Albanian house? Please come in, I was cleaning. Well, it couldn't be otherwise. Hospitality is a common feature of the Sicilians and the Albanians. Good morning, are you also cleaning today? Do you also speak Albanian? I'm Albanian. How do you say cleaning the house? Good work then. Hey, more musicians. Hmm. I think these two are following me. Let's play some music then. A Sicilian Albanian tarandella and an Albanian cantata. Buongiorno, come si sta a Piana? Mir, tu tu rihe mir ta hore arbre. Hi, how does it feel to live here in Piana degli Albanesi? Listen, can you tell me if you prefer what you told me in Italian or Sicilian? Sorry, of course. It is nice to stay here. We are under the mountain and it feels good. I dedicate myself to passing on our culture. I play in Arberesci, religious piece. Well, here the cantata is not lacking for the Sicilian Albanians. Here is our dear fountain. The lady drinks heartily. What a beautiful rock, isn't it? And the low and close houses that tell of a united and composite community. Here, if you forget to buy salt, the neighbor will pass it through the window. Hmm, what a beautiful palace. Let's go in. It is the Ethno-Anthropological Museum. There are tools of the farmers and models of the typical farms of the area, where the Sicilian Albanians moved for several months in summer. They are real feedums with small churches inside. There is an ancient room with a portable bathroom and children's clothes. This is the reconstruction of an underground 
environment of the Grotta del Garrone with evergreen and vegetation. The cave is located in the beautiful mountains of Piana degli Albanesi, a paradise for hikers. Serre della Pizzuta, or an oasis of green in a red circle. In this room, there are beautiful and precious Albanian costumes. The costumes of Piana degli Albanesi impressed the 18th century travelers who were in these parts. I will look great in that. This is our wedding dress, typical of Piana degli Albanesi. Here I am inside the canvas again. There are also the musicians, the lake and the first houses of Piana degli Albanesi. Okay, let's continue the walk. What a nice smell. Hello, what are you preparing? Salve. Cosa state preparando? Eh, The cannoli shells. Mamma mia! The famous Sicilian cannoli from Biana degli Albanesi. The best in the world. And also the biggest in the world. Once we made one of 300 kilos eight years ago for the cannoli festival. Piana degli Albanesi, un comune a 20 km da Palermo, per chi è la ricerca di storia, tradizione Palermo, e cultura, una comunità è fondata nel 1888 da Le Esuli Albanesi, dove ha ancora oggi potuto trovare le nostre tradizioni, la nostra lingua e i nostri prodotti tipici. Il pane, olio, vino e per confondere il mio nonno, il miglior cannolo che poteva trovare nella nostra regione. Quindi vi aspettiamo veramente di cuore a Piana degli Albanesi. What a beautiful bridge! It is called the Tetodia Viadat and it divides the old city from the new one. Rosanna, this is Pino Barone, one of the most famous iconographers around. All in drone, all on gold leaf. He's a great teacher. They are real masterpieces of Byzantine art, ending down for centuries and famous all over the world. This represents the nativity. The master explains how an icon is prepared. The preparation of the tablet is an art within art. It is a magical canvas. There are rabbit glues, minerals, egg yolks, vinegar and pure gold. Gold recalls the divine color. It is not a symbol of wealth, but of fate. What does that mean? Welcome. We are again in Corso Giorgio Castriota, with Giorgio Castriota in the center of the square. Giorgio Castriota is to the Albanians as Patty to the Irish or Nelson Mandela to the South Africans. He is their hero, the man who has always fought against the Turkish enemy and the identity of the Albanian people. We enter the cathedral from the back. It is a masterpiece of Greek Byzantine art with an amazing wooden iconostasis that leaves you breathless. We have a married priest. He must get married before reciting the first mass. Otherwise, he can no more. Mio padre era palermitano, si è sposato con mia madre che era di Piana, ha imparato l'albanese, non lo parlava. My father was from Palermo and he married my mother who was from Piana. They lived here and my father understood everything perfectly, but he barely spoke our language. Also because when he spoke, they made fun of him. I learned Italian in kindergarten. I didn't know anything before. People are curious that we can get married, but that's the way it is. There is something that I want to say. In one of our prayers to Mary, we take it out on the Turkish invader, evil and black. And I am sorry for this, because it is not possible to say bad things against others. 
Something must be done. Certain things cannot be said. And then it's been a long time. Come on. Ding dong. Some bells ring in my head. What can it be? Ah, here. Jewels for me. We produce 18th century Sicilian gold in Albanian costumes. A beautiful dress and a beautiful Albanian jewel. They will look good on me. Gold makes me hungry. And then let's go with the cannoli. In our laboratory, we make cannoli that go around the world. This is sheep's milk, ricotta with chocolate chips, candied fruit, and icing sugar. And it's ready to be eaten by you. Are you challenging me? Look that I am a woman, but I'm still Sicilian. Two cannoli for me. It was a wonderful Sicilian Albanian day. I do not want to leave this 16th century canvas. I stay here dreaming on the shore of the lake. The boatman is coming to get me. Hey, but it's Caronte. Anyway, that's okay. I remain inside the canvas.